Welcome back to Mets and Nets Jets D podcast. Coming to you on July 25th, a Thursday. Back at it again. So I wasn't able to uh, put out a video yesterday, but did uh, I did put out my picks on um, on Twitter at Mets and Nets Jets D. Did not turn too well, but that's okay. We're still living off that that big win I had uh, two days ago. It was two hundred dollars. That's okay. Uh, the previous video, it was this parlay right here, which I almost got all of them right. A three out of five, not bad. At least I was on somewhat the right track. Uh, Cardinals won, Indians lost. Uh, that over hit, like I said, always look out for the, these two teams, the Reds and the Brewers, when they face each other. The uh, the over tends to hit a lot. Um, the Yankees had a, a crazy game. Um, they eat that one out, and then the Astros did not win. Uh, so we're going to move on. Go today's slate. It's short. It's cut in half because there were some early games. Uh, the Mets won. Uh, Pirates got swept by the freaking um, the Arizona, uh, not Arizona. The the Cardinals, they came through. Goldschmidt is on fire, hitting four home runs in, um, in a row. Well, in four straight games. So, we have the Rockies game and Nationals game currently going on. I'm not going to touch that right now. We're going to go to this freaking rivalry right here. Masahiro Tanaka versus uh, Rick Porcello. Um, a lot of people would just go straight to the Yankees, obviously, because the Yankees are a better team right now. Um, but And that the fact that the Red Sox are worse at home. But I'm, t- I'm leaning towards... Uh, the Red Sox, despite the fact that Rick Porcello struggles at home with a 5 ERA. Tanaka pitches better at home with a 3 ERA, but he also touts a 5 ERA on the road. This game is definitely, I love the over in this game. I, I expect a lot of runs. Um, but I'm I'm going with the Red Sox with that plus money at home. I think they um, they, they, they got to be motivated, all right, because the Yankees have been handling them. Uh, pretty much all this year. Red Sox, I think, step up. Give me that plus 105 on the home team. I like that type of value right there. Uh, next game, we're going to move to the Minnesota Twins and Jose Barrios uh, against Lucas Giolito, who's um, been out, utterly outstanding this year. Uh, gym after gym, it, it doesn't matter. We thought um, he was going to be a bust this year. He finally woke up and is pitching to his full potential. Um, Jose Barrios, this man hasn't won since June 22nd. He's lost four four straight starts. Um, his last 10 starts, he's only won four of them. So you, you would think that when Barrios uh, comes up to pitch, they're ace. They usually tend to win, but they tend to don't. Um, Giolito pitching great this year. The White Sox are currently on a losing streak, two-game losing streak. They're coming home. Give me the home team. Get some home cooking and extend the Minnesota Twins losing streak to three. Um, I like, I, I, I trust Giolito. Next game, we have Adam Pluto. Um, he's been pitching very well, solidly. Um, KC Royals, Mike Montgomery, he was recently traded for a left-handed, um, hit a left-handed pitcher. Mike Montgomery is not good at all. He has a, what is this? He has like a seven ERA. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Um, give me the Indians in the run line. They are red hot Indians winning the last eight in the last 10 games. Um, they're creeping up on the Twins. They're only two games behind. This is a huge game for them. The Royals had enough fun um, in their last series, winning two in a row, which was unexpected against the Atlanta Braves. They're coming home, but the Indians are hungry, and they want that number one spot in the AL Central. Give me the Indians and the run line. You might as well have plus 105. I don't, I don't see the Royals really mustering up much uh pluto already faced his team twice and handled them fairly well um next game we have the baltimore orioles and jimmy yakub versus the la angels jose suarez 
Um, Jimmy Aguinas, I give him some respect. He's horrible, but he is from Jersey, so that's the only thing I care about. He's from Elizabeth, Jersey, close to my, close to me. I didn't even know that. I found that out today. That's pretty dope. But you suck. So, other than that, the Angels are an emotional team, and they are another red hot team. They're in a four game winning streak. They're playing for Tyler Skaggs here, clearly. Um, there's going to be a ton of runs. Suarez is not good at, at, at all. Um, Jakob Unis is giving up a 300 average to uh, left hand and right hand um, batters. So I like the over. Um, if you want a better uh, line at that minus 112, or you could take that minus 235 money line for the Angels. Either or, I'm leaning more towards uh, the money line of the Angels because I do think they win in this game. Uh, next game, we have the Texas Rangers, Ariel Gerardo versus the Oakland Athletics, Brett Anderson. What did I tell you? Brett Anderson is what? A left-handed pitcher. And when we see a left-handed pitcher against the Texas Rangers, we go all in. All right, Brett Anderson is not that great, but has pitched very well at home in Oakland. This team is totally different when they're, they are playing in California. They are 31-20 and 20 at home. Uh, Texas Rangers are 10 games below 500 away. They're going to seeing a left-handed pitcher. It's all these signs are pointing towards the athletics and Gerardo struggles against right-handed power. He's going to have to see, um, Marcus Simeon, Matt Chapman, Mark Kanha, ton of power right there. Chris Davis, ton of power right there. So I don't, I don't. It doesn't look too good for the Rangers. Um, next and last game. It's gonna be a pretty quick video. Detroit Tigers. Uh, Drew Verhagen. This is gonna be a, a bullpen game. He's only gonna pitch about one, two innings, um, and then you're going straight into the bullpen. So this game could be another over, like nine and a half, and then you're already in both these guys' bullpen. Like, there's a reason why. These are two bad teams right here, clearly. Um, Verhagen is not good. And then Eric Swanson, um, he's nothing to tout about either. 0-3 at home, a 9.60 ERA, um, giving up 300 average to righties. No, to righties, 280 average, and to lefties, a 300 average. He's already given up 13 home runs. This, it's not good. Um, I don't know which game I want more, which team I want more. But I like that over at that minus 114. Because this one could go back and forth. Um, so those are all my picks today. I already made my parlay for today's slate. I went with the Indians uh, run line. I, I think they handle the Royals fairly well. Uh, give me the Angels and that minus 235. Even though it's kind of shocking that they are... Uh, I haven't seen Angels 200 favorites in, I think, all year. I don't know. But um, the, the Orioles are that bad, and Jakob Yunus is even worse. Uh, give me the White Sox in the upset to beat the Minnesota Twins. Lucas Giolito is just a stud, especially at home. And then give me the Athletics against the Rangers, who cannot handle left-handed pitching. All right. That is today's parlay. Let's check the parlay plus here. Um... This is more, that's why they started with this. See, they, this is what sports books and casinos do. They kind of sucker you in. And they like, you see, plus 1625. Oh my God, you want to throw some money on that just to waste money. But you got to factor in that it's, you need the Rangers, you need the Orioles, and you need the Royals to win. Like I said, I don't see the Rangers being the Athletics. I don't see um, the Orioles beating the Angels. And then. The Royals, no. The Royals against the Indians, that's huge. Three huge upsets. But if you go to this one, because people may not even click the next one over. It's coast to coast. We have something that's more reasonable, plus 600. I like that. Red Sox, yes, they have a chance against the Yankees. This is a rivalry. Both these teams hate each other. Both these teams are going to step up. And Tanaka's not good at home. And Porcello is not good as well. But at least he has a home uh, field advantage. Uh, White Sox already said that I liked Lucas Giolito, and then the Angels, who are favorited already. That that's reasonable. Plus six hundred. 
go with that guys if you're one if you want to choose a parlay plus um that's all i have today top left corner run dfs.com gun dacker runs a great site uh great discord chat please go to that website get connected with a group of guys that really know what they're doing um and can assist you so you can start winning money all right uh don't forget my twitter is messness just d and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my uh video and my youtube channel uh so peace out guys i'll see you tomorrow and don't forget let's get it peace